Hey guys, it's me Dave, back from the Coda with another Harrison Jones Daily. Uh, we're going to be working on Treasure Contract, the Thunderlord Sage. Have a good one. Now, if you're Horde, this is a little bit easier to do. If you're Alliance, it's going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt to get up here. Uh, but this is the first place we're going to go to. But before we go, I'm going to see if I have any, any meat for one of the quests. For one of the quests, we're going to need some raw cleft hook meat, so I'm just going to grab a bunch of it out of my out of my bank there, and I'm going to head up to the area that we need to go to in Frostfire. What brings you here? The first flight point I'm going to take is probably going to be this one right here, and then run up from there. So we'll see you there. Okay, so what I did was I took the flight point here and ran up here. Um, the area you're going to have to get into is going to be a little bit sticky, so um, you're going to want to probably try and stay to avoid constant fights. Stay uh, out of the way of most of the mobs here. You can see right there the area we're looking to get to is uh, that wind reader. Agrim corpse. So we may have to clear out some of these guys. Okay, cleared out a couple of the guys, and I'm going to search the orc for clues, and that completes the quest. And we're going to move on to the next quest, or the next portion of this quest chain. Uh, we're going to have to go up a little ways, we're going to have to find three three pieces, uh, a weight, a haft, and a blade. And they're all relatively close by. So there you go, there's one. There's the haft. Getting bugged. Next one's over here. There is the weight right at the edge of this skeleton. <coughs> and then we just have to find the last piece, which is a little bit south. You're going to head down this walkway here, weaving in and out of these guys so you know how to deal with them. And you're going to see right on top of this skull. So where we came down was this walkway right here. of this skull you'll see the last piece. Complete that quest and we'll move on to the next part. So we're going to head way over here. So I'm going to make my way over to this side uh, for the third part, the Blessing of the Fire. And I'll meet you over there. Okay, so the next area you want to go to, like I said, is going to be up here. Um, you want to come... There's like a, like a molten river over here and out here on this ledge overlooking the end of the map is this molten shaman stone. There is a clickable sham frost wolf shaman stone down there that's not the one you want. You want the one on the top above the um, waterfalls. So we're going to click this. It's going to finish out this quest for us and we're going to move on to the next piece. So now we're going to head down here. Uh, right by this uh, flight point, so I will meet you there in a second. Alright, this next stone took me a little bit of time to figure out, but uh, it's at the top of one of these towers at about 40, 48, 49, 21. I'm standing right on top of it. Um, this is the tower you want to be on, just west of the flight point. And this will finish out this next part of the quest. And the Blessing of the Beasts. We're going to head down here a little bit. We're going to have to lure and kill an ancient black Rylak. Uh, that's where the meat will come in handy. And then empower the Gronsbane with the Gocktail's blood. So I'm going to head south and I'll meet you there. Alright, so the area you want to be in, like I said, is just southwest of this flight point. For uh, 
This is this open area it's just south of where you just were. This is where you're going to put the uh, raw cleft hood meat. So bring a couple of them just in case you don't kill them. But what we're going to do is we're going to lure him in and we're going to kill him. Now it's very important that once you kill him, you do click on his body because it needs to be done. If you forget to do that, you're going to have to do this all over again. Not a difficult uh, portion of the quest. I mean, healer gear doing this. So just killing him is not enough. You do have to click on him after you've looted him to finish that up. And that will finish that up. And now what we can do is we can take it back to our garrison to turn in. So like always, we're going to take this up and get our gold and finish one of the six quests for the Harrison Jones follower. Hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, leave me a thumbs up. Check out my channel for some more tips, tricks, LPs, guides, and a like. And like always, guys, good luck and have fun.